Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Lab Tech. Today I am going to show you the operation of gas chromatography, make chromatic from Russia, and the model is Crystal 9000. Crystal 9000 is a fully automated, flexible, versatile instrument featuring a wide range of detectors, injectors, and external automatic samplers and other devices. Gas chromatography. It is a technique for analyzing a mixture of volatile substances in which the mixture is carried out by an inert gas through a column packed with a selective adsorbent and the detector records the conductivity of the gas leaving the tube. Peaks on the resulting graph indicate the presence of a particular component. These are the gas cylinders which are required for gas chromatography. Color of hydrogen cylinder is red. Hydrogen gas is used for flame ignition of FID detector along with zero air. Color of nitrogen cylinder is gray with a black strip on the neck. Nitrogen cylinder is used as carrier gas as well as makeup gas. Color of zero air cylinder is gray and it is used for ignition along with hydrogen gas. These are the universal color codes for identification. After fixing the cylinders, Please note that the nitrogen, hydrogen and zero air cylinder pressures should be 150 kg per centimeter square by default. Do not accept the cylinders without certificate of analysis. There are two grades of purity available. Grade 5 99.999% purity, grade 6 99.9999% purity. Grade 6 is used for trace levels detection analysis. Please ensure that the cylinder's outlet pressure is maintained at 4 kg per centimeter square. All three gases pass through the filters before entering the GC. In the hydrogen, the filter A is molecular sieve along with the silica gel and filter B is hydrocarbon trap. In the nitrogen gas, filter A is molecular sieve along with the silica gel and filter B is oxy trap. In the zero air, filter A is molecular sieve along with the silica gel and filter B is hydrocarbon trap. In helium gas, filter A is molecular sieve and silica gel and filter B is oxy trap. Let us know the features of GC Crystal 9000. Coming to the capabilities of GC, it can install simultaneously four detectors. This is the first one, second, third and fourth. Except MSD, Chromatic offers many detectors like FID flame ionization detector, FPD flame photometric detector, TCD thermal conductivity detector, micro TCD micro thermal conductivity detector, ECD electron capture detector, Micro ECD, Micro Electron Capture Detector, NPD, Nitrogen Phosphorus Detector, CCD, Catalytic Combustion Detector, PID, Photo Ionization Detector, PDD, Pulsed Discharge Detector, MSD, Mass Spectrometry Detector, and three injectors SSL, Split Splitless, PTV, Programmable Temperature Vaporizing third one as packed column inlet. It has up to 13 heating zones and 6 gas valves. It also has 10 pressure controllers. The optional 8 inch touchscreen LCD makes the operation more easier and helps to get fast information about instrument status. Fully controlled by PC software or by optional external keyboard or display. It has wide range of detectors, injectors, valves in GC, as well as many supplementary equipment. This is column oven compartment. Let us open it. The width of the column oven compartment is 250 mm and depth is 165 mm and height is 290 mm. The column oven volume is 12 liters. This GC can accommodate three columns at a time. Now I am going to show you BP5 column. This is BP5 column. BP5 column is equivalent to HP5 and the length is 15 meters and the internal diameter is 0.25 millimeters and the film thickness is 0.25 micrometers 
and the maximum temperature can range from 320 degree centigrade to 340 degree centigrade please note that the bp5 column is supplied along with gc for testing the fid performance during the installation with standard liquid provided along with gc different columns are supplied for different detectors this is column measuring tool here is the mark for 2 43 mm distance is to be maintained for 99 mm liner on the injector side and here is the mark for 5 98 mm distance is to be maintained at the detector side insert one end of the column into this measuring tool up to mark 2 and tighten the nut and remove the column along with the nut similarly insert the other end of the column into this measuring tool up to mark 5 and tighten the nut and remove the column along with the nut now let us fix the column inside the oven do not interchange the injector end or the detector end of the column these are the two ends of the column now we are fixing the column take care that the column should not touch the surface of the oven tighten the nuts at the injector end and detector end Now the column is being fixed. Now column oven door is being closed. Switch on the gas controllers, inlet pressure gases and then switch on the main instrument and PC. After switching on the instrument, a beep sound comes. Double click on the chromatic navigator. Click on the instrument search. and ip address of the instrument will be displayed click on the tick mark after connecting to the instrument then automatically control panel will open in the screen feed the ip address against connection and select analytic 30 against analytic under session 1 now press the save button click on the connection now control panel screen appears here we can create the method click on the method icon now oven 1 appears fix the temperature to 80 degrees centigrade time should be more than the retention time of main peak click on the tick mark now the temperature is saved click on the inlet icon then inlet screen appears select the temperature as 220 degree centigrade select mode as split default parameters appears in the method then select the split ratio as 1 is to 500 select split flow ml per minute dfpc1 as 72.2 then click the tick mark Septum purge flow ml per minute PFPC3 nitrogen as 3 and now click the tick mark and it will be saved automatically next click the column icon column screen appears under column 1 for control mode select constant temperature pressure kpa dfpc2 for nitrogen is 7 and now click the tick mark we have gas saver mode to set in software injector part then click on the detector icons then fid1 appears then feed 250 degree centigrade against temperature hydrogen 30 and air 300 for the highest sensitivity maintain hydrogen to air ratio 1 is to 10 and feed 25 for makeup flow which is in ml per minute then save the method by clicking the save icon below then computer screen appears then select the project as new project and now against method type isopropyl alcohol then click the save button again save under the instrument type isopropyl alcohol method then click on the save button 
When we click Yes, Apply mode, the method is transferred from PC to GC. After equilibration, enter sample information, select analysis against sample type, enter the name of the analyst, enter the sample number against sample, enter dilution, if not applicable leave it blank, feed the sample location if applicable. After feeding all parameters, click yes. Then wait for the instrument to be ready. Now take the syringe. Take 0.25 microliters of sample. In this case, it is isopropyl alcohol. Ensure that there is no air bubble trapped inside the syringe. Inject the sample quickly into the injector port. Press start button that is number 1. After injecting the sample, the software starts recording the chromatogram. Watch the IPA peak elution in the chromatogram and wait until the runtime is over. Now go to the path where chromatograms are stored. Click the chromatogram. IPA chromatogram appears on the screen. Now perform peak integration by selecting the processing tab. Tick on the peak detection and quantitative analysis. In the peak detection, under the integration tab, select the width as 2 and 5, threshold as 5 and base as 0 0.5. Leave the minimum height as blank if not required. Now under quantitative analysis, click main. Under calculation method, there are four methods available. Internal standard, external standard, area percentage and area normalization. Select external standard. Under normalization, select one. To take account of unidentified peaks, select area. Now click on report. Under report template, select standard. Under action, select preview. Under orientation, select portrait. Under barcode type, select intelligent mail. Now under section, select the report parameters which will be displayed on the chromatogram. Number 1, tick sample info. Number 2, tick instrument method. Number 3, tick components. Number 4, tick calculation. Number 5, tick total percentage. Number 6, tick peak parameters. Number 7, tick chromatogram. Finally, click calculate icon on the top panel. Now, click on the report icon on the top panel. Analysis report appears on the screen. Click on save button to save the chromatogram. Now click on print to take the chromatogram printout. Once the analysis is over, Click on the shutdown icon. New screen appears. In that, click on GC cooling icon. Now, cooling on yes or no screen appears. Click yes. Instrument will take some time to get cool. Click on switch off icon, the instrument gets switched off. Switch off the gas connections. Now enter the details in the instrument logbook. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like the video. 
प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब आर यूट्यूब चैनल